Hey everyone! Today we're going to look at some different types of sentences and we need to match these sentences correctly. Are these sentences going to be a command, a statement, an explanation or a question? Remember, a command is something that uses an imperative or a bossy verb. It's telling us to do something. A statement is usually a sentence. It is telling us something. An explanation can be something that ends in an explanation mark. And a question normally starts with who, what, where, when, why, or which. It usually ends in a question mark. Sentence number one. Khalifa walked home from football. Well, I see that that sentence ends in a full stop. So, is it a command, statement, an explanation, or a question? Correct. It is a statement. It ends in a full stop and is telling us what the information is. Sentence number two. Ahmed screamed out in anger. Is it a command, a statement, an explanation, or a question? Correct. It is an exclamation. Our sentence ends in an exclamation mark. That was our clue. It was an exclamation. Sentence number three. Why are you going there? Is this sentence a command, a statement, an explanation, or a question? Well done. It is a question. There were two clues in this. It ends in a question mark and it starts with the word why. It was a question. Number four. Go and clean your room. Is that a command, a statement, an explanation, or a question? Excellent. It is a command. The word go is a bossy verb. It is telling us to do something. Therefore, it is a command. Next of all, we're going to have a look at some similes. Similes compare, compare different things. They usually use words like like or as. So, for example, as light as a feather. This is a simile used to describe something that is really light. For example, the book was as light as a feather. The pencil was as light as a feather. We are using a simile to compare it. The book is light, so instead of saying we had a light book, in our writing we can use similes to make our writing sound more interesting. For example, the book that I picked up was as light as a feather. As strong as a ball. If we were describing somebody as strong, we know that a ball is a really strong animal. So we can say, the little boy was as strong as a ball. As flat as a pancake. Instead of saying, my book was as flat as a pancake, was, was very flat, we can say, my book was as flat as a pancake. It makes our writing more interesting. Now, this week, we have been trying to look at describing the dragon from our story, George and the Dragon. We tried to describe him using some similes to make our writing interesting. For example, the dragon flew as quick as lightning. A lightning bolt is extremely fast. So instead of saying the dragon flew fast, we tried to use similes to make our writing more in interesting for the reader. The dragon flew as quick as lightning. His eyes were as bright as the sun. His claws were as sharp as knives. Can you think of something else that might be sharp? A good example is, his claws were as sharp as drills. Thank you and see you next week.